and welcome to Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. If it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. There are a ton of great videos on this channel I know you'll enjoy. Today, I'm introducing you to the Thermocell Radius Gen 2. Let's go. This is the Thermocell Radius Gen 2. Check it out. This thing is an excellent option for bug protection because it's completely deep free and it doesn't rely on the application of any kind of chemicals to your skin. Instead, it lets off a chemical into the air to keep bugs at bay. So the weight on this item comes at 5.5 ounces and with the cartridge inside totals out at seven ounces. So it's definitely small, compact and lightweight if you're wanting to keep those bugs off you at camp. So if you are familiar with Thermacell products, you're probably familiar with the scent pad and the small butane cartridge that you need to power the unit. This one is totally different. This is the cartridge and it comes in two sizes, either a 12 hour model or a 40 hour model. And it's really nice because you don't have to mess around with those pads anymore. You just pop and drop and let it go. So it works by wicking up this fuel that you'll see this little chemical in there. It works by wicking that up and heating it up and sending that out into the air. So let's get this thing fired up. This is the Thermocell Radius. It features a magnetic click top lid for easy access and convenience. And this is the 12 hour cartridge just to kind of give you a size perspective of the cartridge versus the unit itself. So we'll get this thing fired up. I'm going to take the lid off and when you first get these cartridges you want to take this plastic piece off now it's very important when you're lifting it to lift in a completely upward direction a couple weeks ago I lifted it off to an angle and I actually broke off this wick and as a result that cartridge was not able to be used so we just pop it in there click the lid back on and then we hold down the button You'll notice that the button becomes illuminated to let you know that it's been turned on and it's going to take about 15 minutes before this unit is fully powered on and we're getting full bug protection. So we will come back after a few minutes once this has heated up. Once you have the thermocell set up and ready to go, you're going to want to find a handy place to store this. This is the cap of the cartridge refill. Now, if you don't put this on and you just take that refill and you put it in your pack, any fluid remaining in that cartridge is going to leak out through the top of that wick and it's going to make a giant mess. So these caps are designed to be resealable. So you put them on, click them into position, and then you have a completely leak proof fit so you can throw it in your pack and be secure that the cartridge will be ready to go the next time you need to use it. The thermocell is firing on all cylinders now. You'll notice that there is a white mist coming out of it and you can see on the corner of a screen a spider was headed for the hills. So now you've got optimal bug protection. If you notice that your mist is not going up in a more or less straight line, you're going to want to look at the wind conditions and reassess. If it's being swept off to one side or another, it means that your effective bug protection area has been reduced by wind conditions. So what I've done here, since we do have some wind, is that I have actually positioned the thermocell in a wind protected zone to allow more of that mist to stay in the area that I want to have protected. You can also use a tarp to accomplish this or bring it close to your tent just so that it's out of the wind. The wind is one of the downfalls of this system. If it's windy, Thermocell products do not work great because they rely on a saturation of an ambient area. So keep that in mind if that's something that you're considering. Powering the Thermocell off is really easy. You click that button and it stops the power and then to turn it on, click the button to turn it back on again. Now it does feature a lockout mode in which case you would hold this button down for five seconds then it will flash rapidly to indicate that lockout mode has been engaged this way it won't go off in your pack by accident to turn it back on after lockout mode same thing hold it on for five seconds it'll flash rapidly at the end and then you release it and then the unit's powered on 
The thermocell radius features a lithium ion battery, which can be recharged with a USB. The unit is weatherproof so long that the port door is closed. The port door at the bottom can be opened easily. And I like to use a portable battery bank to charge. This unit can be fully powered up within five hours and has a total runtime of six and a half hours. If air travels in your plans, the Thermocell Radius could be a great option for you. Because it contains no butane, it's fully TSA compliant. If I had to rate the Thermocell Radius on a five point scale, I would only give this 3.5 out of five crows. The biggest reason for that is that during my second outing with it, I broke the wick off of a 40 hour refill. So that was a $20 refill down the drain. So that was a big sticking point with me. The design flaw on that wick on the cartridges just seems like it's prone to error. And although it's never happened again, I'm always nervous about it every time I open a cartridge. The other thing I don't really like about this is the indicator light. It's a soft white, which can be really difficult to see if it's actually on when it's sunny conditions. A lot of times I have to cup the unit like so to see if the unit is actually powered on. Now, with that being said, if I had to rate the unit's effectiveness in terms of bug control, it would get a five out of five crow rating for bug control effectiveness. The technology that's in here is just simply unprecedented. I've used it with black flies, with mosquitoes, with biting flies, and it has always come through for me and definitely increased the enjoyability of my experience. So great bug protection, kind of bad design. So the overall rating on this is 3.5 out of 5 crows. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you learned something new. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on the latest outdoor gear. In the meantime, check out a few of my other videos. Get out there, get on the trail.